Hi, I'm Unique Model, aka Shantae Renee P for Positivity, and this is a channel for love and for healing. I want you to know that love begins with you, and it absolutely does. Be the love you want to see manifest in your life, and it will come. So this is just a tarot reading. I was guided to do one. I think it is pertaining to love, but I am not sure. Um, I already did shuffle, but I just started shuffling again, so it's all good. So, take what resonates. This is the general reading possibly about love and this is for entertainment purposes only so i'm using two decks um this is the medicine woman deck and i have the um ask your guides oracle um card so i'll just be pulling from those this will be probably a short reading so we shall see what the cards have to say now it has to come out it's three so far any other cards? The only card that flipped over. So I'm going to take that one first. So it's the Princess of Bowls, which is the Page of Cups. So what I'm getting from this is that someone needs to probably nurture their inner child normally the um, page of cups is someone possibly offering some type of apology but i'm feeling that someone needs to nurture their inner child or maybe someone wants to love on you um and let you know that um you are here for so that is the first card Next, we have the magician. So um, maybe this person wants to offer some resources or maybe some resources are going to open up for you. Um, you see us a lot of things up in this card. So um, they're pulling from everything. Looks like from animal spirits, um, the elements. I see the trees and water and the sun and the moon and, and ancestors. That's what I'm getting. So... Um, maybe it's some type of offering that they want to give to you or maybe you are to give to them if you have an altar table and that has never come through for me before so um, the resources are there they're available for you all you have to do is ask so next we have the ace of pipes so there is some new type of beginning this is the ace of wands in the normal tarot deck so some type of beginning and this um lady in this card she looks like she's working on something and she also looks like she's um working with the elements we have the wand and we have the sun and a lot of fire we have some music um so maybe uh this someone could be into music uh, whether you write it whether you like listening to it whether you like dancing to it um whether you're a professional dancer that may be for someone so next we have the four of arrows so the four arrows is four swords so this is i'm um, here a loner this is someone who's been working on their craft normally the four of arrows or four swords um is someone who's um healing and resting so maybe um you are healing by way of creating um creating you know what you like to do uh what your passions are um, or maybe what you just do on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you are creating. Looks like it may you may even work from home. I'm getting pulled to the TP in this card, so it looks like she's working outside of the home, but is still like near the home. So um, it could be you are creating in your um, rest period. Next, we have um, the three of pops. So three of pipes, which is the three of wands. So you're waiting for something to um, hear and embark but normally you're waiting for your ships to come in but you're waiting to embark on a new journey um we see we have that bird there so the bird cost possibly could be a spirit animal spirit totem um could be your spiritual team actually leading you and also i'm getting pulled to all the yellow and orange so this is dealing with sacral and solar plexus chakras which um sacral is your creative center and yellow is like your courage and solar plexus is yellow and that's your courage and the soul sacral is orange which is your creative um i'm hearing creative palette so 
um it's like um and now i'm seeing like a artist palette where they have all the paints in the little tray so that's this is something dealing with your creativity so you're waiting for um your harvest to come in so next we have uh, the six of arrows so you're setting setting your sights on a new venture you're being guided um as this person is about to walk through a doorway that's what i'm seeing you're walking um to a new place and you are protected because i'm getting called to this arrow that is bent so it's like the bubble kind of kept it out even though it's outside of the bubble um looks like that arrow was headed for its feet to try to stop this person from moving forward but you are protected so you go forth <laughs> go forth and be merry do what you're supposed to be doing and you will have justice in this situation um that is going to bring some type of balance so i'm hearing you're getting your just do your just rewards um all will be fine you see you have all of this abundance down at the end of this card so whatever you're doing it is going to be um a reward for you a very um rewardful for you so we have the five of stones and normally the five of stones which is the five of pentacles is someone being left out in the cold but in this in this deck um it's like the person may have been like on the outside looking at a looking like from a higher perspective and seeing who to actually um, give to and you see you have people in the background rejoicing so to me um, the five of pentacles in this uh, card is actually happy instead of being sad and you see how the person who's giving has plenty to give at the bottom so you are a a giver so maybe in the situation um, situations you've been in you have been a giver let's see if we can get some more cards See, we can get some more cards we can't get any cups and i thought it was going to be a love reading so maybe not so maybe okay we have three four more to, to come out let's see let's see so we have four pipes which is the four of wands so there is another person in this card that um looks like you will be building i'm here and building your empire with um maybe around the fall time you see we have the leaves down here we have the little squirrels so um you know how you gather your resources as we got resources with the magician um in the beginning of the reading so maybe it's some resources um that are being gathered in the fall time and you and this person will be building, I'm hearing also a firm foundation. So we have the four of pipes, which is the four of wands and the normal um, tarot deck. And yes, it will be work. We have the eight of stones, which is the eight of pentacles. So you see this person here, they are, they are diligently working. They're working on their craft. So there's a lot of craft working going on. You're working on your passions, what makes you happy. So maybe you have a love for what you are doing and you're in the i'm hearing baby phases of it but you have a passion for it so you're going to keep moving forward and like we saw in the six of sports you are protected but now we have a tower moment so we have a tower moment um and i'm getting um phoenix rising from the ashes so whatever this tower moment is it is going to propel you forward um, I'm hearing towards your destiny. So there is some type of tower moment. And I'm getting poor, pulled to these three feathers in this card. So it's reminding me of the three of swords. So maybe it's some type of heartbreak um, that you that has penetrated your heart. Or maybe someone has penetrated your heart and that is the tower because maybe you had a guard up. Because it says your shield has, shield has been pierced. And next we have the apprentice of pipes which is the page of wands so there is definitely some news coming um in about something let's see what's at the bottom of the deck so some news some good news um coming in about um something so and this crazy because this card came out for me first when it just stood out when i was about to shuffle the four of bowls and i get from this card which is the four of cups normally someone holding back from the divine not wanting to 
take the gift <laughs> that he's giving, but, or it's giving, but you have been nurturing yourself. And I see that someone sees that you have been loving on yourself as you see her in the top of the card, how she's feeding herself. You know, she's looking pretty. She got a flower in her hair. Kind of reminds me of me, even though I have no flowers on my hair today. But this person um, looks like they are ready. They are ready. And I'm also getting told that you have been nurturing your spirit. And that is probably what's pulling this person to want to actually fill your cup and nurture you. And now I'm hearing the song um, on Bended Knee because this person is on their knees. So um, it could possibly be some type of proposal. And it's crazy because the next card is the Ace of, Tri Ace of Arrows, which is the Ace of Swords. So that is possibly the truth. Possibly the truth. Someone is going to get on bended knee because you are actually pulling them in the spirit. So there will, will be some type of celebration because we have the Three of Bowls, which is the Three of Cups. Um, offerings given to you. Um, from spirit and you also giving back to spirit and you give you can give to spirit and through your work what you are creating that's what you, we are co-creating with the divine so whatever you do that is your offering to the world to spirit to the universe so there will be a lot of celebrating going on because you have been in your empress energy creating abundantly nurturing yourself um, nurturing your gifts, uh, nurturing others around you, and you see bounty at the bottom of the card. So you are very, very, you're going to be very bountiful if you're not already. So we ha this is the Empress card. <coughs> Excuse me, in the normal tarot deck. And you will be successful. We have the sun. Um, excuse me not the sun the six of pipes which is the six of wands and um that is the sign of victory so um and you see how she's also nurturing the things around her so may it be animals may it be people um you have been nurturing yourself and nurturing others and next we have the sun card because i'm like i knew i saw the sun um which is a rebirth so we have baby we have a baby so maybe it act, could actually be a little baby or maybe it could be just um your project is your baby you're giving birth to something something um is about to come back here and come back around so um it's gonna be some type of rebirth of some i'm hearing some type of union so some type of union is coming back around it's gonna take one no actually I'm going to take, I'm just going to keep pulling because the card's getting good. So next we have the high priestess. So you have been working diligently in your field. Um, and the more you work, because I'm going to call to the beauty um, in this picture of this, of this woman. So the more you work and co-create with spirit, the more beautiful your aura and your outer appearance becomes. Uh, you, your body may change or, you know, has been changing. You may notice that you don't look the same as you did a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago. And it's because you're seeking how, higher knowledge on how to fulfill your duties and your mission of what you are supposed to do. So this is the card of the high priestess. And you may not see this coming. You may not see this coming because you may be sit sitting in this energy of heartbreak. We have the three of arrows, which is the three of swords. So, but you are protected and you are being guided by your ancestors. So through this heartache, this heartbreak, this um, hardship, whatever you are going through, you are being guided. So um, even though you may feel like I'm hearing that you have had to be a warrior, you are still protected even through your struggles. So whatever it is is going to bring balance and harmony we're here in balance and harmony we have temperance um and also the ten of bowls which is the ten of cups so whatever you got is going to um balance you out it's going to be equal give and take and it's also going to be a celebration you have a happy family you're going to be very very fulfilled 
I'm hearing and feeling. You're going to be very, very fulfilled in this. Um, whatever it is, whether it is through your work, whether it's through love, um, whether it is both, who knows? So it could be from an exemplar of arrows, which is the king of swords. And normally the king of swords is just very stern, but in this in this um, deck for me, um, this person is very loving and also has a, what is it? A, I can't think of the word, but when they have like a fondness of children, so maybe, maybe you do have like some type of fondness and we did see the sun card that had the baby. Maybe you have a fondness or somebody else has a fondness to um, children. I'm gonna try to get a few more cards and then we'll see. Right, let's see, or can we get anything about love or is it just mostly career? That's what it's seeming, seeming like. And that will be it. So, the first card that came out was um, the Totem of Pipes, which is the Knight of Wands. So, you have been on your journey tr trying to look at things from a higher perspective, as eagles do. So, you have been doing the work and not taking things personally because you've been through a lot. You've got the Devil and you got the ten of pipes which is the twin of wands so you've been through like a lot so you got the ten of wands but you are at the end of a cycle because tens are endings of a new of a cycle so i actually did get that today um with some numbers that i saw so you are at the end of a cycle even though someone was trying to trick you and also whatever was going on could actually you see that person that's um leaving this home situation someone actually could be leaving a home because of things that was going on and at the bottom of the deck we have the world card so that is you're dancing to the beat of your own drum you're dancing to your life you're not letting anybody hold you down and you're just not taking no for an answer either so you're dancing to the beat of your own drum and you're going to dance your way through life so that is the end of that portion from the tarot cards and we'll get a couple of um ask your guides and i'll read a couple not too many because it's getting dark and i can't see so <laughs> i'll like turn on the light so let's see what messages your guides have for you i'll take a couple of those and i'll read those from the book for you and we that will be the end of this reading okay that's one two three okay so i i'll take three but i probably no actually i got four so let's see we got deceit and we did have the devil card so <clears throat> excuse me so we have deceit as the first card out and that is card two guardian angels so that is the deceit card so it's a really pretty card deceit you are at risk of being deceived at this time Pay a close attention to, and I'm hearing also by yourself, and that's kind of what I was getting from that card, that, you know, the hands, um, you could be, be deceiving yourself. It may not actually be deceit from another person. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Pay close attention to what you are being told and trust your intuition. If you sense what you're hearing from others is not truthful, this deceit may come from a good friend who insists that everything is fine between you and you when in fact they are feeling jealous or competitive in some way the deceit could arise from a significant partner who's straying from the partnership while denying it your guardian angel also reminds you that your most significant risk of deception could come from you 
Check to be sure you are not deceiving yourself by denying what you feel in your heart because you are unwilling to accept a difficult truth. Are you telling yourself, for example, that certain foods is not a problem when it actually leaves you feeling sick? Or that drinking a few glasses of alcohol every night is not a problem when in fact it's an unsuccessful attempt at treating your depression? Are you convincing yourself to keep a job that's all wrong for you out of financial anxiety? Or staying in an un clearly unhealthy relationship out of the fear of being alone? Your loving guardian angel encourages you to admit the truth with compassion and courage and even if it is difficult to do. Ask your guardian angel to gently reveal all that is deceiving you and bring it to into the light of day. Your guardian angel will escort you back into alignment if you are prepared to face the truth. Do not allow deceit to continue. You cannot face others, excuse me, force others to be honest with you if they are unwilling, but you can stop deceiving yourself. You will feel immediate relief if you do. Being honest helps not only you, but the ones you love as well. Your guardian angel's message to you, confront deceit. You will be protected in the end. Okay. So now we have growth. Teachers, guys. This is number 24. All right. Growth. And this is a pretty card as well. And we talked about healing. And usually when you heal, you do grow. So this is card 24. <sighs> growth. Courage, desire, initiate initiation creativity your teacher guides are initiating your imagination awakening your creativity and instilling in you the desire to grow to your full potential now is the perfect time for you to push yourself and explore new horizons have the courage to stretch apply for the new position one level up at work volunteer for the leadership role even though you don't feel fully prepared or qualified believe in yourself and act with confidence as you step into more responsible creative empowered territory you are more than you re ready than you realize don't hold back don't overthink don't second guess and don't play small now is the time to think big and act your teacher guides message to you imagine a bigger better you and as you can see on this card this lady is actually a little voluptuous compared to you know the norm so growth you're growing in many 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 different ways all right so goals so this is, seems like it was more of a career guide and a career read than anything else so goals teacher guides maybe you're ready to kick some butt so this is card 25 oh i'm already on the page goals dedication training work skills you can create whatever you truly desire but only if you're willing to do the necessary work to accomplish it that means no shortcuts, no bypasses, and no free lunches. The only path to success is discipline and consistency. Fortunately, your teacher guides are present, helping you develop the dedication and mature work ethic to achieve such success. You are advised to get organized and be practical. Practical. Approach your goals one small step at a time. Show up every day to work you desire, and it will be, and it, excuse me, show up every day to the work you desire and it will come to pass be willing to do whatever it takes to reach your aims if you aren't clear about what to do seek out the help of mentors guides who specialize in your field of interest study and learn with dedication and set your standard time your teacher guides message to you mastery comes from demanding nothing less than the best from yourself so this may be for someone who needs to work a little bit harder or practice a little bit harder not necessarily work a little bit harder but maybe you do need to work a little bit harder practice makes perfect so the next card is number three leap of faith so you should be taking a leap of faith or maybe you're getting ready to take a leap of faith or being encouraged to take a leap of faith <laughs> <coughs> excuse me so that's card three let's see intuition certainty confidence risk you are guided to take a leap of faith and make a significant change in your life this feeling may be prompted by your intuition alone there is no rational evidence to support what you feel in your heart not yet anyway nevertheless your intuition is reliable and can be trusted 
Your guardian angel encourages you to trust your heart and take the leap of faith you feel so strongly called to make. Do not ask those around you. Do not ask those around you for their opinion. <laughs> trust me. They won't. A lot of them won't understand. If you're not in a circle of people who understand certain things, they won't understand. Only share your inner calling with people you are certain will support you. Or better yet, simply take the leap of faith you feel called to make before others try to discourage you or stop you. Your guardian angel encourages you to go inward and pray for confidence and protection as you move forward ahead. Ask the universe to reassure you as you go forward. The changes you are considering will be the answers to your prayers. The leap will make will open a door to your heart's desires. You are safe and the only real risk you face right now is ignoring your intuition and doing nothing. Your guardian's angels message to you. Go for it. Your angels go with you. All right. And let's see. But, um, bottom of the deck. We got balance again from your teacher guides. Card number 26. I think it's 26. Yeah. So it's the balancing act. And we got on um, in the reading also balance from the justice card. So that's 26. And that will be the end of this reading. 26, 24. All right. Support, codependency, manipulation, um, generosity. You're in the delicate process of learning how to properly balance the flow of give and take in your personal relationships, and it's time to evaluate your progress. Are you giving too much, leaving you feeling resentful and angry? Are you failing to ask for what you need, hoping others will figure it out? Then feeling let down and unevolved, excuse me, and unloved if they don't. Are you taking too much? Um, and burdening others with your responsibilities. Are those you love complaining that they feel neglected or taken advantage of by you? Your teacher guides help you learn how to interact better in your relationships so that you neither give nor take too much as a means of controlling others. They counsel you to be honest about your motivations and actions and how to and how you show up to others. Your divine teachers are on hand to help you move beyond any unfulfilling self-sabotaging patterns and learn how to connect and communicate with others in a balanced, healthier way. Your teacher guides lovingly assure you that while relationships are the most difficult of all your spiritual classrooms and the lessons of proper give and take are the most difficult of skills to learn, you can do this. It is now time to make your make this your priority before you lose important people in your life be honest and seek balance in your relationships with others ask your ask your divine teachers to guide you in how much to give and receive in all relationships not just the romantic kind and why they will help you create better and more satisfying relationships if you want to learn your teacher guides message to you give fairly and with unconditional love and all will turn out well so that is your reading. It seemed more of a, like a career um, reading. Um, could be something that you love, something that you're passionate about. So that is all I have for you. Um, thank you for watching. I do appreciate you. If you like what I, the things that I put out, please like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and healing. I appreciate you. Make sure you appreciate yourself and remember, Happiness is homemade. Feed yourself some good shit. Mind, body, and spirit. Have a wonderful day. Bye.